Hey, Wolf Hunters family! Welcome back to the channel. Look at this. This is completely different than what I usually do. I'm actually rebuilding my computer and I wanted to just share this with you guys in case you were interested. If you're not, then I'm sorry. Um, maybe this is not the video for you, but if you are, then great. Uh, this is my current studio computer right here. This is a factory built normal computer and I'm actually building my first ever computer to try to take all the parts out of this one and make it way better and put it in this beautiful case over here. I got all these parts that I've laid out. You can kind of see what I'm building. This is not going to be a crazy like hyper gaming rig. This is really just for music production and for streaming. So trying to make everything better. Hopefully when I'm done, my computer will be like a beastly performer for what I needed to do. And so what I want to do is just show you what I'm doing. When I'm done, I'm going to give you guys a tour of everything built in this case right here, which is the Corsair uh, IQ220 RGB. So that is the case I'm using. When I'm all done, I'll give you guys a tour. Stick around. Love you guys. Hey, what is up, Wolf Hunters family? I finally built my new computer, and <laughs> to you, this is gonna look like one millisecond, but for me, this was two days of work and heartache, and I actually gave up like twice. So I'm gonna show you guys where we went from and where we went to, and I'm gonna show you all the horrible things that got me totally stuck, and that for everyone else is probably super easy, but I'll share it just to embarrass myself. So let's take a look at where I came from. Here's what I was using, which is just a basic HP pre-built computer. Nothing wrong with this computer at all. The only issue is that you can't upgrade it because the power supply inside is only 180 watts. <clears throat> so it's not enough power to run a graphics card. And actually the crazy thing is, and the only performance downside to this, is that the CPU that it used was a Ryzen 7 4700G. That, <clears throat> that CPU actually needs like 300 to 350 watts of power to run properly. And this power supply is only 180 watts. So that was kind of like my red flag. Like, oh my gosh, I need to put this system in a better build that actually has like a big power supply and stuff. So that's kind of what's going on there. And then, I'll show you what I did. I took out all the storage, memory, and everything, and I put it into this build, which is, you know, a basic, like, modular gaming setup. So I'm gonna show you actually what completely screwed me up, and then we're gonna go through the build. So the first thing that stopped me dead in my tracks was I thought that this CPU cooler, which is the Arctic Freezer 7X, was not compatible with my motherboard. The reason is, Every single tutorial I saw on YouTube about installing this particular CPU cooler and also like every CPU cooler that I saw that wasn't like a hydro system but it was a fan, it uses like a ring with four screws on it. This does not use that. This has two screws on the sides and I couldn't figure out how to install it which is probably silly but I'll show you what I, where how it's supposed to go. So there's these two brackets. You see those screws right Arr, here? That's a bracket and this is a bracket. And the screws on the Arctic freezer are like these little tabs on the side and you screw those down to those brackets and it works. So I actually completely gave up on this build because I thought this didn't fit. I thought it wasn't compatible. And I was about to order a different CPU cooler and then I was like, you know what? Wait a second, what are those brackets for? The light bulb went off, so <laughs> kind of ridiculous. And the second thing that stopped me from building this, which is so silly, so the next day I came back to build it, and the case that I bought, I bought it used, and it didn't have any motherboard screws. So in the video that I was watching, <clears throat> the guy was legit like, now take out your motherboard screws from the back compartment. And there was no screws. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm screwed because of no screws, right? So I thought I had to stop and go to a hardware store and buy screws. And then I had another great idea, which was, 
I stole the screws from my old computer because it turns out they thread in. So I, this motherboard actually has no screws. I took all the screws out and I put it in this one. So if you are doing the same thing I'm doing, you can do that. And it saved me from having to stop my entire build for another day. So that was awesome. So those are like my two big screw ups on building it. And then here's my third screw up that I didn't realize with um, the video card that I chose. So this is a good video card, right? Or uh, graphic uh, GPU, NVIDIA GeForce GT730 Zotac. So there's nothing wrong with this particular GPU, but here is the problem with it is that OBS does not support this. Uh, I use OBS 27 and it does not support this particular card. So I, I think it's even just this entire generation of technology, the 700 series GE Force GPUs, it doesn't support it. So it was giving me all these crazy glitches and I had to pull it out. And you can see, I tried to install it. I even removed that bracket for my PCIe slot and then I never put it back because I'm too lazy and tired, but I installed it right there and it just wasn't working, so I had to pull it. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this now. I can't even return it, so I don't know. Does somebody wanna buy it off of me? <laughs> Whatever. Um, and that was another kind of bummer because I spent some money on that and I couldn't even use it in my build. So now that we have all the mess ups out of the way, let's go through the build. Um, so I bought these RGB fans these actually go into its own little hub here, so I can add more fans, LED strips, and it's Pestum, which is pretty much one of the cheapest options I could find that also had a good noise rating, and these things run very quiet. In fact, this entire build runs very, very quiet, which is what I was after. So that's that. Um, I already talked about the CPU cooler, the memory I pulled from my old computer, the storage I pulled from my old computer, and then here's a problem that I had. Oh, here's another problem. So this fan up here, this is the Noctua Redux 140 millimeter fan. So actually, this fan does not fit in this case very well in the position that I put it in because I wanted it for my top ventilation. Actually, I wanted it in the back of the case, but I'll show you where I had to install because it didn't work. So I wanted to install it back here, but actually look at where the CPU plugs in this fan was in the way of the CPU plug. So I couldn't even plug in my CPU. I had to shift this fan over. And so actually this fan that's venting out of the case is really close to the front, which is probably not even doing a whole lot. It's supposed to be in the back. So I'm probably gonna have to add another 120 millimeter fan back here because 140 won't fit on this slot. So to improve my airflow, I'm gonna have to do that eventually. But this fan, Noctua Redux, is a really good fan. It just doesn't fit in this particular case, which again is the Corsair IQ, let me pull it, the Corsair IQ220T. And it's a, you know, like a mid-size case, so it doesn't fit in there very well. So if you have a Noctua 140 millimeter, you can put them on the front, no problem. You just can't put it up there. All right, um, what else about this, guys? Oh, I got a 600 watt power supply down there. All that's pretty normal stuff. I mean, plugging all the plugs in the right places was difficult for me because I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, but there you have it. That is my new computer for streaming and for life. And I really love it. So in conclusion, here's what I'm going to say. If you buy a pre-built computer, in my opinion, you should not buy the pre-builds that you can't upgrade which is like the one that I got because it has limitations. You can't upgrade the power supply. So it was like a whole thing. So um, instead, buy a pre-built that looks like this. You know, like a case that you can upgrade and make sure that the motherboard in the, is, is compatible with parts that you want and stuff. And that is like my main thing that I know. I feel like my life lesson from this is don't buy pre-built unless it's a pre-built that you can upgrade yourself.
because actually it's not that hard to do like the individual pieces of the puzzle. Putting the whole thing together almost killed me to be honest, but this part was not too bad. So sorry for this long video, but I, kind of, I wanted to share with you guys everything that I learned through this that I would totally tell myself if I could go back in time. So if anyone else out there is looking to build a computer, hopefully this was helpful. For everyone else, this is probably super boring, but I want you to tell me in the comments, do you actually like this kind of video? Because I'm gonna be doing tons of upgrades to my studio, to my computers, and I wanna know, do you guys care? Do you wanna see this? If not, I will never do this kind of video again. But if you like this and you wanna actually see like when I upgrade my gear, or how I have my studio set up, you know, what I'm doing. I have no problem sharing that. So definitely comment and let me know what you think. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being part of this family. And I really hope you guys have an amazing day. Stay tuned and stay positive, everybody.